I think that um, actors need to concentrate on the work um, before the marketing. So sometimes actors, um, they're marketing too much when they should be working on their craft. It's tricky when you talk about marketing yourself outside of Spotlight because he's boring, but Spotlight and other casting websites, I suppose, are um, are the fundaments, uh, fundamentally, that's where you live as an actor. Personally, I don't keep any CVs on file or, you know, there's no, uh, there's no database to it, but I would expect everyone to be on Spotlight. We go to you know, Spotlight, and I know on the Spotlight page I should know their height, I should know their skills, I should know, I'd be able to see a showreel, photos. But I would say, have a website, but just keep it simple. Hello, my name is, I'm an actor, I'm living here. Here, you click onto this, this and this to see my work. I think that's good and makes sense. It's logical to do those things. But don't have a wacky website with a Twitter feed and like that would be my view. I, I don't use Twitter. So I might be one of the rare ones, but I prefer to go to one source and know what I'm getting from that source. I think it's worth remembering that fundamentally, as an actor, um, you live on Spotlight or whichever other casting website you use, um, and your photos and that CV and those credits and skills and showreel is the most important thing that you and your agent can use, and it's the most useful thing for me, and that's what's going to get you through the door. So I think nail that stuff down before you worry about anything else. The rest of it could be useful, could be advantageous, could be reasons to get jobs and castings, but it's not something that's structured and set up to get you two castings and that's what a spotlight is.